modern aloe vera farming. Amazing aloe vera harvesting and processing in the factory. This video is devoted to aloe vera farming, which is a product that's regularly used by some of you so that you can get some information about it. Do you know how? A variety of products such as the beauty products that you use may contain aloe vera. It's also used to make fresh juices that are a cure for many diseases. Watch the complete video to get detailed information about aloe vera, its plantation, its harvesting, and its transformation and integration into various products. Aloe vera plantation. Either it's June or July, or it's September to October, and now the farmers are optimistic and expecting great growth in aloe vera farming. This plant grows well in non-tropical areas, meaning the areas that have low rainfall, and the weather condition is warm because the plant is sensitive to cold weather. This is a duo planting plant and can be planted in both sessions. The workers are directed to wet the land where the aloe vera will be cultivated. Before the seeds are placed in the land, organic fertilizers are prepared for the plants for an instant and yielding growth and so a product is created for shadowing these plants for abstaining excessive sunlight. And now the land is watered, the farmers initiate the process of plantation. As you can see, the plants are plucked and cleaned and taken by the workers to the greenhouse. Tell us about our videos and quality in the comment section so that we can maintain our quality. But before planting, then worm fertilizers are also kept beneath them to save them from worms that can severely damage them. The plant is kept in the tiny dug but with worm fertilizers. The process for plantation continues for five to six days when the expected area of the greenhouse is filled with planting aloe vera plants please hit the like button. Here comes the main operation now. Aloe vera harvesting. Six to seven months after the plantation, the plant leaves become ready to be harvested. The leaves are easily identified with the rosy tinge on their leaves. The workers must be cautious during the harvesting season because this plant is very slow growing and time consuming to get ready for harvesting. But it's easier for them to go with the above mentioned indication, the emergence of a rosy tinge. Each leaf is harvested from the bottom or you can tilt the stem. They must ensure that the harvested leaf is healthy and doesn't have any mold. Please subscribe to our channel for regular videos on various types of farming and write down in the comments section that I'm subscribed. Stay tuned for more videos. The workers begin the plucking until the loader vehicle is filled with maximum loading capacity. Since it's a plant in warm weather, this plant has great demand in the processing factories and especially in the countries that fall in the cold regions. Aloe vera processing in the factory. Each day in the factory, 260,000 pounds of aloe vera leaves arrive that are processed into various products. This figure is devoted to manufacturing aloe vera juices only. The factory processes these leaves and turns them into 20,000 gallons of juice each day. Have you ever drunk aloe vera juice? The juice making process starts with washing the leaves so that these leaves can be dusted off. The workers dip them into the water using all safety protection. Can you guess why these are not using manual procedures like their hands? After washing the leaves, these leaves are escalated toward further processing. The workers pick each of the aloe vera leaves and slice it from both edges so that it gets smoother to be processed later for extracting its gel. The gel extraction is done by several workers at the same time because, as discussed above, the raw material is in huge numbers. These workers are equipped with the best slicing and cutting skills due to the routine job that they've been performing for a long duration. They only cut the aloe vera with manual procedures and the rest of the operations are carried out with automated machines that the factory is equipped with. When the gel is extracted, 
it's sent to the steaming tub that performs the heating activity which makes the gel to be in more perfect shape, or you can say to liquidate it. The steam gel is then passed through minute pipes that take the prepared gel towards various sections where respective products are made with the gel. This gel is maybe used for making pure and fresh aloe vera juices or is to be used in beauty products. Aloe vera comes with several benefits, like it consists of antiviral and antibacterial properties that help to treat the human skin. It's also a skin-friendly property when added to beauty products that prevent the skin to not being affected by allergies, sensitivity, and other skin reactions. Similarly, the juice that we've shown you in the video works as a medicinal agent that helps humans to deter chronic health conditions such as cancer, cardiovascular issues, diabetes, etc. Once the processes are done, the gel is packed into various packaging to serve the use of the users. The workers manufacture various products in the factory with automated types of machinery that are specified and designed to make expected products. Most of the aloe vera processing factories are found in Thailand, and Thailand is the pioneer in the field of most aloe vera production each year. This list also includes North and South American regions.